appeal. We did not appeal. We were the respondents. We had won the, or my client's attorney had won the decision in the court below. But the DPP appealed on the ground that the trial judge wrongly refused to allow the case to go on on the ground that there was not sufficient evidence to identify the defendant in that case as the person who had committed the crime that was alleged in the indictment. We thought that the, the judge, the learned trial judge, Mr. Gonzalez, had quite rightly withdrawn the case from the jury. But the Court of Appeal has now decided that he ought not to have withdrawn the case from the jury on the ground that the evidence was, the connecting evidence was there and that he should have left the, the case to the jury for the jury to decide it. So they have ordered that there be a retrial in the matter. Okay, can you come comment briefly on what was the ruling of that judge back in, in 2012? Well, basically that the prosecution had not, had not brought the evidence that they needed to bring, that they had failed, and I think he was strong in his decision, that they had failed to bring proper evidence to the court, and he could not direct the jury on the basis of that evidence that there was a case for the accused to answer. But it's all technical, legal issues that were raised. Very technical, very legal issues. So it might have to go to the CCJ to have a final resolution as to what needs to be done in cases like these.